Right, I think I'm live. Hi guys, welcome to the video. I thought I'd pop on and do another little sales roundup. It's been a few weeks since I've done one. Right, I think I'm live. Hold on, that's me. Hi guys, welcome to the video. Pause myself. Uh, every time. So yeah, if you've not seen one of these before, the format of this is I tend to pick out sales that are hopefully interesting, um, maybe unusual, or it's items that I've that you may have seen me pick up in a in a in a, a vlog, a jumble sale or a car boot sale, or I've shown in hauls, and then I like to show them when they go out, when we finally sell them. So I've picked out. It's not many. It's not going to be a long one. I think there's eleven or twelve items. Not sure. So we're just going to whiz through a few. I will go into eBay in a minute and screen share so you can see the actual item uh, and the pictures and what I managed to sell it for. So if you are watching this live, please dip in the side chat. There's a few people popping in already. Hi, Lucy. Uh, Shazad, welcome. Lincoln Seller. Sean, Joy, Pete, Catherine, Welsh Wonder, uh, Southwest Sellers, which is Gary says good evening so hi gary allison jamie joan yorkshire seller kelly and james so welcome yeah it's just going to be a quick one i thought i'd share a few sales that i picked out to have a chat with you about and show you what's been going on basically i'm having a break i've been using my disc repair machine which you can't actually see um to get stuff done that i want to get listed quick there's some nice little gems in here that were mashed such as crash for example knights of the old republic 2 etc um so i'm having a break from that and i thought i'd come on and speak to you lovely people sean says i can't believe i stayed up until 2 a.m in the morning doing fba what's the latest you stayed up well i'm a bit of a night owl um so yeah i've stayed up way later than that yeah just ask andrea she'll tell you Okay, so I won't wait any longer. I will go into eBay and we will share some sales. Um, I'll just quickly answer that question from M. Julie Kaur. Kaur don't know how to say your second name. Nick, how do you send these off packaging, postage, etc.? Most of my stuff goes Royal Mail. Uh, if it's media like this, it will just go in a bubble envelope. If it's a larger thing, I will box it up. If it's heavier than two kilos, I tend to use Hermes or UPS. Um, so that's what I do. Okay. Um, Welsh Wonders is having an issue with Hermes drop off point. Just came back, parcel still in hand, refusing to take parcels after 5 p.m. Not had that issue with mine. Wow, that's. Do you think they're just getting swamped because of the time of year? Who knows? Right, let's do this. So I need to change that window. So if you've just joined me, we've now got 60 people in. So welcome. I'm just going to share a bunch of sales that I've had recently on eBay. So hopefully, if you can let me know in the chat, can you see this? This is the last of the Playmobil that I... No, there was, there's two lots of Playmobil in here. You may remember... Can you see that, guys? Yeah, I think I'm screen sharing now. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so I can't actually see the chat and this screen at the same time. So, yeah, um, the last two lots of Playmobil are going out. This was a lot of pirates. Um, I didn't buy it as a bundle. This was a bundle I made up from two different purchases. The whole lot owes me about... Uh, about eight pounds i think um yeah set it up it's well worth taking the time to set these things up make them look interesting make them look as they should basically and then take some really cool pictures and it's good fun you know you get to play with toys who doesn't love playing with toys so there you go spread it all out so everyone can see exactly what they're getting it didn't have all the instructions. It had two rather battered manuals. But I got my asking price of £50 plus £8.99 shipping on that. Um, like I said, I think I was about £8 invested. 
So, yeah, very happy with that. Uh, let me just click on the side chat. Hazer here. So here says, I can't remember selling Playmobil ever. Oh, it's great. It's worth picking up. It is a bit of a fiddle. It's not as bad as Lego, but it's still, yeah, can be a lot of work. Okay, am I still screen sharing that? Yes, I am. So next one, I've included this because um, I can't remember where. Somebody was asking about um, Disney Infinity figures. I think it was on their Facebook group, maybe on the chat chat. These are ones I picked up. I paid a fiver for a bag full of Disney Infinity figures, um, knowing that the Disney Princess ones hold a bit of value. So what I did was I picked out those three, put them on together, and they've gone at £15 with shipping. And I paid a fiver for a carrier bag full. The rest I've sent some up to Amazon uh, and a bunch of the other ones I'm either going to trade in at CEX or um, just boot sell them. A lot of these uh, Disney Infinity figures are really not worth bothering with. But the princesses, for whatever reason, seem to be. So, yep, happy with that. That worked really well. Uh, again, pictures. Well worth taking your time. My pictures aren't the greatest. I don't have the greatest setup with lights, etc. But they do the job. So that's those. Next one, you may remember I've had issues with this. <laughs> um, a lady wanted just that Neil Tennant. So I set up a listing for her just to buy the Neil Tennant for I think it was 10 or 12 pounds, whatever. Um, and then she bought it and then she decided to cancel because, uh, as she put it, the clothes were too small. Didn't make any sense. Anyway, so I relisted it as the four at 15 pounds with shipping, as you can see, and it sold, so that's all fine. These came from a jumble sale, they were 50 pence each, so my investment was two pounds. Yeah, it's worth doing, won't make you rich, but happy to see them gone. Let me just look in the chat again. Hi Bianca, how are you doing? Hey George. George says, hey Nick and everyone, just popping in quick. No worries. I'm not going to be long anyway. I think there's only 11 or 12. Um, so, yeah, they have finally left the building, which is great. Uh, close that. Now, this was interesting. This has been listed since the summer. We went to a, a uh, jumble trail in a village where a group of houses just set up in front of their house. And it's kind of like a boot sale, but spread out around the village. And I picked this off up along with a bunch of other things. I bought a couple of board games, a load of train prints, and this movie poster. And I think the whole lot owes me a couple of pounds. So this owes me 50 pence or something like that. I, I had no idea where to pitch it. It's from the 70s. Uh, it's 40 by 30 inches, quite a large poster. Um, but I couldn't find anything similar that had completed. So I started it, I think I started at £100, and it was just getting very, very few views, no interest. I think I had offers on it at that point as well. Um, and it's been on monthly cycles, I think, this, or it might have been on 10 days. And I slowly reduced it. In the end, uh, I got rid of it. I think I may have even taken an offer. I think this sold for 20 I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but there you go. There is a market for this stuff. It's quite obscure. I'm pretty sure it was 70s. 1972. There you go. Um, but yeah, it's gone. It owed me next to nothing. Interesting piece. Printed in England. So this would have been used within the cinema or outside the cinema to promote the film. Seamus written on the back for whatever reason. So it has gone. I'm happy with that. Like I said, it was just a punt, really. It was an interesting item. It cost me almost nothing, as I said, because I bundled up a bunch of stuff from the same stall. So to get £20 back on that. Yep. Happy days. It's gone. Next, this is a, a recent sale. In fact, this was today, I think this came in. Um, this was from the filler bag jumble sale. Um, if you didn't see the video from, from that day or 
well, we've actually been to three of those now. You pay five pounds and then you get to fill a bag. Um, this year we went and there just wasn't a lot of stuff there, or at least not stuff that we were interested in. Um, but I picked up this. It's a P&O Ferries mug, vintage 80s, I think. I sold ferry um, merch before, badges, pin badges, that sort of stuff. So I thought I would have a go. And I put it on very speculatively at 20 quid because I couldn't find anything similar again for this. So I started high. And then earlier on today, we had an offer from a chap in Germany. Uh, he offered, I think it was 11. Um, Andrea was dealing with it. She said, I'm going to go back at 15, which she did. He came back at 11 again, I think. So she went back a little bit lower. And in the end, I think he came back at 1250, which is what we sold it for. Um, and I was happy with that. It had um, GSP on it. So it's free um, domestic shipping. And then they've paid however much the GSP was. So from virtually nothing, because this was in a huge dustbin sack full of stuff that we bought at the Jumble, it has sold. Let's just see what the chat's saying. George says, I was watching a movie poster auction on Sotheby's website a little while ago, and every lot was going into four and five figures. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, Welsh Wonders, I love the cruise merch. So many collectors. Yeah, I thought this would go. I really didn't know if 20 was pitching it too high, but I'm totally in the mind frame of moving stuff right now. So when we had that offer in, um, we wanted to do business. And 12.50, we were happy. Next, um, I think this sold yesterday. Yeah, 31st. This was from another one of those like uh, yard sale trail things. Uh, it's Meccano. It's vintage 90s. Um, I think I paid three pounds. That's what rings a bell. And I really wasn't sure if it was complete and I could not be bothered to figure it out. Um, there you can see it had been opened. Some of the stuff had been moved around, obviously used. But I just couldn't be bothered to count it all, check all of the little parts. So I sold it as, don't know if it's complete. Take a look at the pictures. It is what it is kind of thing. Um, these sets had sold, the max I saw was £30. So I listed it at £24.99 with shipping um, and put offers on. I quickly got an offer at 20 and I just took it. I didn't mess around. I was more than happy with that. So that has gone. Pleased with that. Now, this one, I'm only putting this in. It's not a particularly great sale. It's not particularly interesting. It was a sealed Lego Chima set, a, a small set. It's only sort of about six, seven inch by about nine inch box. Um, but this has been listed for a long time. And I thought I would share this because this is a listing I went back into and revised. It's been sat on for ages and I'd reduced it down to a tenner because I was fed up of looking at it. Uh, I think I paid two pounds for this, by the way. Um, but when I went in to, to look at it, to maybe revise it, change the title, I did a search of recently completed and somebody had sold one uh, for £18, £17.99. But they had pictures, they had stock images. So what I did was I basically used the same stock images, which was that as the lead image, which shows it built up and it shows the two figures. Before, I was just using pictures of the box. Um an actual photograph on the side. Um, another stock image there and another one. I don't know if my original pictures are on. No, they're not. So I switched up the pictures and relisted it at the price this other seller had got, which was $17.99, and sold it within a few days. So it just goes to show sometimes revisiting a listing that isn't selling, tweaking things, changing things, changing pictures in this case. Um, I also changed the, the title. I basically used the title that he'd used. Um, and it worked. So from an item that I couldn't shift, it had been on since the summer, to almost getting, well, what was it? An extra eight pounds on top. Well worth doing. Um, just dipping in the chat. 
Bianca says, I have so much stuff in my living room now. I have to finally get this out of here. It can be overwhelming. How much was the Meccano, says Paul. I paid, I think it was three pounds. Um, I took an offer of 20 plus the shipping. Uh, Welsh Wonder says, I find with new sealed stock, e eBay, uh, sorry, buyers are just too inquisitive over contents of the box. Anything you can do to show the contents helps sway the sale. Perhaps that was it then. Um, I literally just used stock images, which you can get if you Google the, um, or just scan the barcode into Google or put the Lego um, set number. You can find Google images or you can find another seller on eBay using stock images and just use those anyway next the now this isn't a great sale by any stretch of the imagination 6.99 free shipping but at that recent jumble sale where it was filler bag and i was taking punts on things i picked up these two magic eye books now these were big in the 90s oh there you go in the title at 93 and 94 these were dated and somewhere in the back of my mind it said i'm sure they sell but when it came to it i looked and there were hundreds all over ebay and very very few if any were selling but i took a punt anyway i thought i would do the pair very few people were listing them in pairs they were just listing individual ones um and they sold so it's just one of those listings it is possible to sell stuff even if if other people aren't managing it like i said it's a pretty poor sale i couldn't manage to get these to go as a large letter so there was it cost me about two pounds sixty to send so once you take that and the fees out of 6.99 you can see it was hardly worth the bother but i had them they cost me virtually nothing so i was just pleased to create a sale out of an item that i thought was probably going to be redonated um so i thought i'd include that here next is another playmobil item this is the plane pick this up at car boot sale for two pounds um yeah, not much to say about that, really. It was bulky. The wings do come off this. You can break it down. The wings and the tail fin come off this, but it's still fairly bulky. A few pictures. I need better lights. This was taken in the evening with no um, like daylight coming in, and you can really tell the shadows are really bad. So I'm thinking of improving my light setup soon. But yeah, got 20 plus 299. Uh, this did go Royal Mail. Um, so yeah, not much more to say about that. The last bit of Playmobil on here was this. I think this was the last set to go when I sorted out that big lot of Playmobil. This was cool. It had a little working pump. So the little shower, um, you can pump water through it and it works. And it goes into the swimming pool and then pumps back around again. You can get a close up on it. There you go. I'm thinking now I, I could have aimed higher on this. I added to it. It wasn't just a swimming pool set. I added in the little volleyball bits and the gymnasts. So I maybe could have held out for 25. I could have pushed for 30 and waited forever. But 20 was kind of the top end of what I'd seen recently them get going for. But there were a few extra bits and bobs I chucked in. So maybe I could have gone higher. But I am very happy with that. Just dip in the chat again. Uh, uh, question, are there any rules to using stock images? Are they copyrighted, etc.? cetera? Um, good question. I've used stock images uh, when selling new stuff and never had an issue. Um, I see so many people doing it on eBay. I doubt there's a problem. Uh, if if anyone knows otherwise, uh, please drop me a message. Um, hi, Andrea, how are you doing? Evening all, I sold that pool to a woman for her parakeets to paddle in in the hot weather. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Right, so this uh, that's on screen now is a Bakugan bundle. Again, this was a car boot sale pickup. It was a bag, a carrier bag full 
uh, underneath the table at a stall. I think I paid three or four pounds for this. I looked into it. I was struggling to find much clear information on whether it was worth breaking this down. I've sold back again stuff before, but only ever in bundles like this. Um, people were selling the cards on their own. Um, some of the cards are made of metal. The metal cards, when you put the Bakugans on, they spring open. If you don't know what these are, they're basically, they all fold up into a little ball. And then when they land, um, there's got a magnet in the base. When that sits on a piece of metal, they spring open like this. Uh, and some of the cards are metal. So you can put them on a card and they spring open. I looked into it. People were selling the cards. I could have maybe sold those separately, but... I, I just didn't. I just bundled the whole lot together. A couple of these bigger models were involved, uh, included as well. I could have maybe split those off. But I elected in the end to do it as a big bundle. I went for 30, which I thought was pushing it. Um, I thought it might be one of those that I would drop after a couple of cycles. But it got picked off and it actually went to China on the GSP. So... Yeah, that's gone international. So, yeah, uh, I think it was three, maybe four pounds paid, uh, sold for $29.99 plus shipping, and the buyer paid GSP shipping as well. So, yeah, very happy to get rid of that. There's actually, if you notice, one of these little um, Zooballs in there, that little teddy bear, isn't a back again, it's a Zooball, which is kind of the the girly version, if you like, of Bakugan. Um, but it was in the bag. I couldn't be bothered to hang on to it until I got some more Zoobles, so it went in. Let's see what the chat's saying in a sec. Oh, the last one is one of Andrew's items. Oh, people are saying happy birthday, Karen. Is it your birthday? Ooh, happy birthday. Uh, Tap Doctor, hi there. Hi, Nick. I treated myself today to some lighting that Sue's Piles of Shame recommended to me. Let me know if you need the link. Yeah, you can send me a link. I did find some, some, I think I just need better bulbs in what I've got. So I might look into that. Um, because I've got the lights, which are fine. I just think the bulbs aren't really up to scratch. So, yeah, I think this is the last item. Um, I thought I'd add in one of Andrea's. Um, she picked up a couple of jugs in a yard sale trail. This was tiny. I think it was 12 centimetres, maybe. Uh, where's the info? Uh, da -da 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 -da. 12 centimetre diameter from end of spout to back of rim. Oh, she hasn't got the height on there. Anyway, it was a diddy little thing. Uh, I think she paid 50 pence, maybe a pound. And pretty much took a punt at 20 with 2.99. Now, Andrea knows as much as I do about pottery, <laughs> as in not a lot. Uh, but she's experimenting and she's learning and really enjoying it. It had a maker's mark, but I don't think uh, she was able to figure out quite what it was. And I'm pretty sure this went international. I think this went GSP. So there you go. Tiny little unassuming little green jug did she work out what it was uh title says impressed makers mark pp which would indicate she didn't actually figure out yeah we couldn't work out what or she couldn't work out what the actual maker was but it's sold so if you don't know much about an item it really doesn't mean you shouldn't have a go at selling it um i was really impressed with that so that's one of Andrea's to end on. Let me just come out of screen share. There you go. So that's it. Only a few items. I hope there's something interesting in there. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Joan says, Nick, good book for studio. British Studio Potter's Marks by Yates. All right, I'll look into that. We're only really dabbling. So if it's a really expensive book, I don't know whether it would be worth investing. Um, uh, British Studio Potters. 
Marks Yates Owen. I will take a look. I'll let Andrea know. She's the one who's dabbling in it, really. So I think on that note, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to go back to repairing discs. As I said at the beginning, I've just finished repairing all of these so they can either go up to Amazon. I'm putting together another Amazon shipment today. If not, they'll go on eBay. I'm just taking a break from that. Um, talking about Amazon, Amazon has just taken off. We're doing at least double the numbers we're doing on eBay on Amazon, but that's kind of how we work it. Q4 for us becomes all about Amazon. Um, so I'm working as hard as I can to get everything that should be up at the warehouse up there. There's a bunch more stuff up here um, that needs going through, a load more stuff that needs disc repairing that I'm going to send in. Uh, a load of toys and games that either need cleaning or testing and then sending in. So that's my priority at the moment is Amazon because it's just going bonkers up there. And we're not even in. Oh, no, we are in November now, aren't we? Yes, November the 1st. So Christmas is well and truly underway. How do you clean your discs? I've just made a video while I was repairing some of these earlier. In fact, this was one of the ones in the video. Good old Peppa Pig. Um, I made a little video, so I may edit that and get that up for tomorrow. Um, if not, it'll be up soon. It's a JFJ Easy Pro. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled for the video. Sean Gilbert, is eBay slowly dying? Some people think so. Um, I don't know. I think it, it's getting more and more competition. I think Facebook is is invading into eBay's territory. I don't know. Tap Peddler, hey Derek. Done okay on eBay today. I don't do F FBA, but really wish I did. But I always never get around to it. Something I will do for next year, I think. But said that last year. I resisted doing FBA for a long time. I've always, always sold Merchant Fulfilled. And a lot of what I'm doing on, it, on Amazon is Merchant Fulfilled at the moment. Uh, doing a lot of um, gift packs and cosmetics and stuff. Merchant Fulfilled. Um, mainly because the stuff is um, what they call hazmat. So you can't send it in because of the contents. Um, but you could try merchant fulfilling stuff. Gary says PP on the pot may have been Pelgrave pottery as per one of my reference books. Okay, well, we managed to sell it. It's gone, but thanks for that anyway. Sean says uh, they say the new PayPal changes is hurting eBay as they change PayPal. Who knows? Yes, Bianca. Apparently it's Karin's birthday. So happy birthday, Karin. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to leave you now. I've got a bunch more discs to repair. Uh, and then I've got to make some tea because Andrea's out. And then I'm going playing poker. Thursday is my poker night. So we'll see how I'm doing. We, we run a yearly league at poker. So it's been running all year. So we only, only have two months left. And I am currently top of the league. Tonight is a double points game as well. So I need to do well tonight. Well, we'll see. I was second in the league last year. I got a trophy, but I'm going for the win this year. We shall see. eBay has been good today. Three sales, 120. I can have a look and see. We had a nice sale. Um, hang on. How do I do this? Let me try and get into eBay. Andrea had a, a sale of, I think, a £90 item of clothing. Um, da, 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 overview. We have done 166 today. But yesterday was £35. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. But Amazon is doing way, way better, um, as I said. So that's where my efforts are being concentrated at the moment. Um, Derek's just hit 204 on eBay. Nice one. Have a great night, Nick. Practice that poker face. Yeah, not sure I'm good at the poker face. Well, I must be okay at it, considering I'm, I'm maybe on for a win of the whole league. 
Um, 85 today, says Pete, and 59 on Amazon. I think Amazon, let me see if I can find Amazon numbers. It might be quick on my phone. Actually, let's go in here. Uh, Amazon, Amazon orders. Seven orders, so not big numbers on orders. Oh, this isn't doing a calculation for me. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got a bunch of pending bits, but so far 50. Sold a camera for 50. Uh, a few board games, so it's 50, 70, 80, 90, 110, 116, 120. About 130 were on so far on Amazon, although I do tend to get a fair amount of orders in the evening. So I would imagine that will hopefully pass 200 on Amazon today. Okay, I said I was going. I am going. Thanks for joining me. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that video I made today um, about the disc repair machine, uh, if you're interested in that. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Take care.